Hi, my name is Ali Surprise, and I was one of Jeff Terra's 2023 summer interns. I am an undergrad studying aerospace engineering at the University of Washington, and my interests revolve around aircraft dynamics, controls, and software design. Over the school year, I work at the Kirsten Wind Tunnel on campus, and that's where I first started developing interest for Jeff Terra's fluidic propulsion system, as well as their novel aircraft design, such as Hedwig behind me. Um, for me, the most thrilling part about this internship has been the opportunity to spearhead, manage, and actually complete my own project, which will have a lasting impact on this company. All right, as this is a project that I am incredibly interested in, uh, allow me to share with you what it entails. Let's go. and welcome to my desk. So the new tool that I've developed for Jet Terra will allow the company to test and display the performance of any aircraft that they can model in DATCOM, assisting in the development of digital twins for the various platforms. Additionally, these digital twins will be employed in flight simulations such as the Air Force Simulator or AF Sim for short. All right, let's get into it. So this summer, I developed a flight dynamics model and visualization for aircraft powered by Jetoptera's fluidic propulsion system. I used a combination of tools such as Digital DATCOM, MATLAB, and Simulink, as you can see. On the left, you'll see three graphs that represent a J2000 mission, where J2000 starts from hover at 50 feet, climbs to 1,000 feet, cruises at constant altitude and a velocity of 150 miles an hour, followed by a descent to 50 feet. In the upper left, you'll see there is an exhaustive list of graphable variables, including actuator values such as your flap angle and attitude values such as your yaw rate. These graphs represent a few of those variables, and please note that the X and Y axes are labeled above each graph. In a nutshell, the code that I've written can take in any initial conditions, such as any combination of those upper left variables, and a final desired altitude and velocity, and will use the dynamics of the aircraft along with some controls to reach those desired conditions, essentially plotting whatever trajectory you're interested in. Finally, the model was validated by comparison to real wind tunnel and flight test data. As a side project, and with help from Terry Denary from MATLAB, this 3D model and animation of J2000 was designed as proof of concept for the FPS thrusters. It is clear from the simulation that the thrusters produce a sufficient amount of thrust to safely maneuver the vehicle from vertical to horizontal flight. The simulation matches the flight tests conducted by Jetoptera on small-scale models as well. Whoa, that was fast!